Hey everyone, um, my name is Rumbi, Rumbi Dain Non Tokozo Dube to be exact, okay. just to give you some context of where I come from. Um, I'm Zimbabwean, my dad is Ndebele, my mom is Shona. In our culture, we say we are Ndebele because my dad is. Um, grew up in a home, we spoke mostly Shona and English, um, or Shonglish, as some people call it. And I've been asked to answer the question, what would happen in my culture if? Well, firstly, I would never do that because that would just be okay, awkward. Um, but I, I have a feeling my mom would be excited secretly, but she would, you know, put on her poker face on some, hmm, hello. How are you? Nice to meet you. Uh huh. Asking, you know, cordial questions. I think my dad would be very quiet, kind of like, where is this coming from? Um, trying to assess, like, why is this person in my home? Like, I, I don't even know how I would even do that, to be honest. The one time when I was in high school, um, a friend wanted to visit me at home, um, and I asked my mom if he could come. And my mom was like, I think it's best you meet him at the gate. So I'm just giving you context. I just wouldn't just like rock up on my parents like that. It'd be very awkward. Uh, in terms of my job, they know what it is. Um, that's very important for my parents, especially like my dad. So he would definitely know what it is. He'd be like, yeah, she's a teacher. She teaches um, in the Czech Republic as a um, uh, to people who are learning it as a second language or something. Uh, in terms of my career over the course, I think they would have an idea, but something to do in marketing or something. That's generally been my history. Let me tell you. Firstly, my mom would be like, ah, 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 genie, no, it, this is no, it's satanic, it's satanic. You can't do, you can't have this. Why? Look at you. Eh? She'd just like be in complete shock. My way, like, you know, maybe she'll cry. She'll think, you know, my soul is not able to be saved or something because, yeah, my mom definitely thinks tattoos are satanic. And my dad would be like, this is Illuminati. You know, he'd be very like, yeah, just be like, what is this? Yeah. Do you know the chemical? My mom probably hit me with some random research or what do you mean? I don't know. So yeah, the shock would be next level, but basically satanic. It would be satanic. Um, I think um, my parents would be like, you know, these things are difficult. You know, it's difficult enough, you know, marrying someone within your culture. But then now when you go out of your culture, it's even more complex, you know. That's why these relationships never last. They never last. Um, you see, because it's just too difficult. Look at Ningi Ningi and then they would give examples or something. But ah, at the end of the day, it's your choice. It's your life. What can we do? We, we just have to tell you what we think. You will see. You will see when you are married. When you are a parent, you understand. But you know, it's your life. Um, so that's how I think they'd react. I think on the other end as well, though, they'd just be happy that I brought someone who wants to marry me. Finally, I can tell people in mothers, you know, that my daughter also found a man. Finally, <laughs> what the road has he done it to me? I cannot tell it to me. Because they're ready for them grandbabies, like really ready. So I think my mom would just, you know, they would push aside the cultural things um, because you know, the whole grandparents and kids getting married will take precedent. Yeah, this has already happened. I mean, <laughs> it's more like, um, what is the problem? I don't understand children of today. What is going on? It's also when we were growing up, you know, it was, you know, a, a man told you they loved you and you got married. It was simple. Nowadays, ah, you, you are just too picky, man. You are just too picky. You can't get everything you want. You must just know, you know. Um, or 
something along those lines about me being single or um, maybe you should try and date you know someone you know uh, i think you have too many choice too much too many specific requirements you must you know just let them go you know you must just learn you know some of these things you can never you can change in marriage yes i've heard that no and then the other thing is with no children like huh you know at least they have grandchildren if they were looking at someone else who has children they'd be like hey at least they have grandchildren it's also one way we're just waiting here we don't know if we'll ever have that you know you know we cry toto namata toto chema we cry and we pray to god and we are like when will it be our turn lord you know maybe we'll never have it you know so yeah